Hello, Muster0063 back for hopefully the final time for Not Another Needle Game. And last time I left off, I left things in the middle of floor 21. So um, let's try and progress with the second half. And the only way I can see this working is if I do something like that. Yeah, I'll obviously land on the flipping lid, that would be helpful. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to have to double jump up and teleport through the spike drop down and then teleport against the small ledge over there. Yes! Don't screw up the final bit! Yeah. Yay! Uh, that went by sufficiently quickly that I probably sh could have and uh, indeed well, in hindsight, should have done that last time, but I wasn't quite sure how uh, ba how, you know, how bad that was going to be. So, uh, yeah. Anyway. Moving on. This floor I remember being particularly annoying, um, but only really for the last thing you've got to do. Uh, and that's getting back up to the teleporter. Uh, before that, um, it's more or less okay, apart from maybe that jump that I just pulled off. That I would, would expect to die on quite a few times, but uh, no. This, getting back up uh, here is... Um, I'm just trying to think how on earth to do it. I think I had the... Amazingly enough, I think I kind of had the uh, the timing right there, but I just need to um, be prepared for hitting the wall and then uh, for the second time and then moving off. But I think I kind of had that down. Um, oh no 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 no! What am I doing? Um, but yeah, that's still a, a bitch to oh bugger it um, to pull off. Oh god, that was close. Right, so it's got to be as soon as... Not that soon. As soon as the, um... The cherries are kind of... Oh, the one that I'm jump, following up to jump has, is, has kind of moved. So, yeah, when the one on the right has started moving up, I think that's when I need to uh, start my movement off. But I'm not 100% on that. I'm screwed. I'm screwed. Uh, I was trying to be too cocky, trying to do that too quickly. I should wait. So yeah, wait. Okay, wait here till the thing for the fruit to bypass. Now go. Yeah. Otherwise, I just end up not quite. It doesn't time out quite, quite all that well. Or as you see last time, it turns out timing timed out terribly because I died. And there actually wasn't much I could do about it. Okay. the one but I need to be either higher up with the jump or have the wherewithal to move away from the wall and hit the wall again with the teleport which is all when you're all rather frantic and worrying about dodging fruit just a little bit of a pain but yeah hopefully you can kind of gauge from what's happened whoops seems to be still too close to that damn wall uh, that the rest of the screen has been pretty straightforward Yay! Oh, on a stage whereby we don't have the uh, teleport gimmick, so we're just reliant on uh, regular kid physics and everything. Which uh, I don't mind every once in a while uh, for, for something like this stage. And um, yeah, get, well, I, I give it, given that a lot of the um, wow, wow, oh yes, brilliant. Um, yeah, given that a lot of them. Um, in, in the original stage were some of the ones that didn't have the mechanic, uh, but some of the harder ones, then uh, yeah, I'm uh, all for clearing that stage as quick as I did. So here we have um, a, a, a variant on a stage you may recognise, uh, where we've got five levels and we need to obviously avoid uh, you know these various uh, bits of fruit. We obviously now, um, because we're at the top of the screen, can't... Ah, damn it! Oh, I'm going to... Oh, bugger it! Fine, I'm going to get the sugar jump and then I'm going to save. And hopefully now I've got it permanently, yeah. You obviously need to stay at the top of the screen because if I fall down into the pit, there, well, not only are the fruit coming from there, and it'll be incredibly difficult to avoid, um, but there'd be no way to get back up uh, to the teleporter once we've uh, cleared all the waves. So, yeah. We've got a triple jump, which is obviously uh, helpful um, uh, in, in, in avoiding all, in avoiding all the, the various uh, fruit patterns. Because um, we can go a bit further, you know, in either direction. 
Uh, and I generally, I would yeah, stick to the middle because that does give you two directions, uh, and obviously in which you can uh, in which you can go either either to the left or to the right, depending on looking at the fruit patterns, you know how spread out they are or how close uh, uh, you know packed together they are. So. And uh, obviously that does, that does give you two directions to go at. If you're on the uh, left or right hand platforms, not that you can't go, you know, in either dire in, in, in other directions, but you just obviously can't go as far uh, in other directions. So uh, yeah, once stage three to be on this dumb bugger. Level three of this of this one is probably once you get by that. I'm hoping the rest would. I'm hoping four and five would be. Um, Actually, easier. I think the first three are the harder, the harder ones. Probably one, uh, one and three actually over two as well. Two are just fine for whatever reason. They tend to arc away from you. <laughs> three are again a little bit, and they're obviously um, big and small. But um, yeah, I just would probably tend to find one and three the most difficult of the lot. <sighs> damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Uh, yeah, screw my idea of going uh, and staying in the middle here. That one seemed to be clearly the best place to, where base to be for stage four, or level four. Right. Oh. No, no, dead bugger, 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 bugger. Yeah, annoying getting all the way to level five and then dying, particularly when I think it's actually not one of the, you know, not the worst of the lot. It's very difficult to appreciate somewhat as well that you have the triple jump. Just because it's not something you obviously regularly get, and you can use it, you know, quite a lot to your advantage to really get away from, um, you know, the ledges and such like that. But um, it's yeah, it's not one you, a thing that you typically have. So yeah, I don't know whether whether it's better to to actually kind of um, shy away from trying to use it all that much. I don't know, but. Yeah, it's obviously a bit of a thing that you can't, that you, you know, you probably really should use to your advantage, I suppose. So, for instance, here I can kind of drop down, you know, and uh, and uh, avoid avoid uh, the ones coming from uh, the left, you know, the left or the right. No, I was like a second away from clearing that. Oh, so annoying. Um, as levels go, I've got to admit, it's not the worst of the lot. Uh, in some ways it's quite fun, when you're not dying to like the last thing. <laughs> but, I don't know, it's kind, of a, it's kind of a different one. A different kind of thing to, you know, a lot of the screens, uh, or, you know, anything else in the game. There's obviously been one that has been very similar, uh, in, you know, in, le in stage 9, or the, when we were the right side up, or whatever, but... Yeah, it's, uh, a different to most of the game. Uh, the right hand side there looks a lot better than being in the middle. And now I'm screwed utterly because I was um, had very little chance of getting back up to the platforms. Um, and uh, yeah, the, pa the pattern there was, was awful. So yeah, with stage 4 being one of the easiest ones, that was a bit annoying. But I don't think you gave me this, an especially nice pattern. Or either that, or I just moved to completely the wrong area of the screen and should have gone left. <laughs> Damn it! Whoops. Yeah, you can obviously actually stay in the air quite a bit with the triple jump. It's not something I would, I don't know, typically tend to recommend doing because I want to maintain more control over my character than that, but if needs must, then, you know, take take advantage of it. That was awful. But I didn't follow my own advice, and I got cornered on one of the edges of the screen. Come on, we are so close to the end now. I lucked out, and then I screwed up. Didn't make the most of my good fortune at all. Um, in case you're wondering, I do think this is harder than the original version. Not least because you haven't got solid ground to work with. The original one, you can just, you know, move left and right on the floor, typically. You might have to jump every now and then, 
But um, yeah, staying on the floor is certainly a good strategy for dealing with the original version of this. This one, obviously, you can't do that. You've got to piddle about jumping on fairly narrow platforms. And uh, yeah, patterns, if they are really going to be obnoxious, then they tend to be more fatal. So yeah, a significant step up in difficulty from its original incarnation when you can just walk around on the floor. Come on, I want to get to level four again. I obviously want to clear the stage. <laughs> more so than just getting to level four again, but you know, it's been such a long time since I got to level four. Right. Does that look good? Just about. Okay, yeah, the middle there looked like it was my uh, friend, so that was a uh, good. Go away, thank you. Right. Right, I was about a second away from doing this last time. So. No! Oh my god, that was so lucky. That was so lucky. I so lucked out there, it wasn't even funny. But I really don't get. I really don't care. <laughs> wow, right, okay. Right, what do I do here? I'm guessing... No, that's never going to work. Um, no, I do... No, hang on. What? I, I can't just go down there and hit the switch, can I? Because I can't then get out. So, have I got to get over to the right? For that um, icon? That doesn't seem doable. No, that's not doable. Um, how in the world do I do this? Oh, there's a switch up there at the top. Um, uh, top right. Okay, fine. Uh, and since I seem to be having... No, that's going to have to be... Really? I've got to pull that jump off every time? That's not nice. Nor is that jump, I might add. Nor is any of this. Wow! This is a um, pain in the neck. <laughs> if I do say so. Yeah, I don't like that first jump. I don't know if there's a... I can't see a better way of, 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 of getting up than, than that. Which is really irritating, because that jump's not nice. Seriously, is there any... I would say, possibly... Oh, come on, stop that now. That? Oh, no, that's... Okay, fine, that's... That's going to be my route from now on. Screw do it the other way. Yeah, fine, that'll be it. This bit is still um, a pain, although I did it first go. Again, would you believe? And let's see, it, seriously. Beginner's luck is just so much of a thing for me on, on, on these types of things. It's not even, not even funny. But that is a f really... Um, long jump that you've got to make there. Which is uh, awkward because obviously of, of the spike immediately before you and the one on the ceilings that you, that you can't hit. Like again there, I've uh, made a pretty decent stab at that and got and haven't reached my destination. So, yeah, having done it first time, can't now get anywhere near it again. Don't think that was very good. Nope, but I was probably rushing unnecessarily. Hey. Got oh, what? I thought that was uh, destined to get it. That's got to. If that isn't, then I'm, I'm yeah, well. Oh my god, I, no, no words, and I don't even know 100% now even how to do that bit at the top right. I don't know if I should go back and look over what I what I did the first time. How did I avoid that? Did I do something like that? But how, how do you get out? Again, do I can I just can I can I jump over it where I did, but just not move to the right? So or sorry, the left as quick, which is the you know the instinctive thing to do without any without any question. <sighs> Yes, right. No! Oh, no! 
No, how do you do that? Do I do I jump past it on the left? Do I follow it through to the left and then jump past it? Because I don't seem to be having any luck at all jumping past it on the right. But there's no there's no room. I assume I'm gonna have to do that. Right. Okay. Now that that released a switch. That released a spike that would have killed me over to the right hand side of the screen now. But I've still got to get down, which is a uh, easier said. You're joking! No! No! I refuse to accept that! I actually don't even honestly think I touched the damn spike. A replay would probably prove otherwise, but... Seriously! Now I've got to do all this again. I knew it. I knew I. I. I on, if I could have called that, I would have done. I honestly, I honestly thought that was going to happen. That I was going to somehow screw up in another way on that, on that, on getting down, to, getting down to the icon. Right. Shoot over here. Get the switch. Don't miss time this. Gotcha. So yes, the fake floor 180, or in this case 16, so we're not quite done. We will have one more to do after it, and I've already screwed myself because I need to do this. And uh, I think I need to do that anyway, yeah. Yes, I need to get both of those double jump and punishes small jump over over that I think anyway uh, which is easier said than done land on the and land on the platform yeah I'm gonna hopefully try and make this the uh, the final video the final level after this really shouldn't be too much I don't think so this is probably the uh, last one I hope that's gonna call that that may well cause me um, a mult any multitude of problems and I still can't get this jump, so... Right, it's gonna, is it going to move? No, it's not going to move. Okay, so... Yay! No, no chance. Yeah, hitting... Getting... Yeah, get it... It's really hard to... Get over that spike. Yes, right. Mystery block time. Or not. And I can't even remember what the, um, if indeed there is a reason. I think there might be actually uh, a reason for those uh, other double jumps uh, up there at the top. Damn it. I think there is a reason for them actually. As frightening as that may sound, both to you and me. Oh god, I've got to race back because I need the platform. Um, is it necessary? Are, are they necessary? I Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe it's just a race for the platform and then once you get back on it, uh, moving to the left. Maybe you don't need them. Uh, I would be, uh, I would really love it if that were the case. Because, um, I, I just had a weird... Uh, frightened thought that they were there for a reason, and if it's unless it's just obviously just uh, replicate the um, you know the the, pre the original um, screen of this you know on the on the non hard mode with them all there, but oh, come on, I can't get this, I can't get this first jumping manoeuvre right anywhere near as many as much as often as I'd like to. No, there's so many problems. Not hitting the, uh, not hitting that spike. I just died on there, and again, getting enough height here, not bumping my head there, so that I can actually clear the others, all the other spikes, and then including that one. 
yeah, that first bit is really annoying. Okay. Oh, wow. And once I uh, hit the mystery block, I've then got to rush back to the middle so that I don't lose my opportunity to, to get on the platform. But we've already been going 20 minutes. I don't know how long this is going to go on for. I was really hoping to be able to get uh, pieces or have this all in one video, but I'm going to probably likely get foiled on the... Well, I suppose what is the second to last one, but still. Yeah, you need to keep that double jump of punisher there. I mean, there's no real point to getting it uh, the first time anyway. No, 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 no! So damn close! Yeah, and I hate that you've got to rush that this bit at the end because it, or the, that bit at the bottom left because. It, I so want to be able to take my time on that. No. Yes. Oh, I thought it was going to be going to be successful. <laughs> ah. Now I may well be rushing too much. I don't know. I don't know if there's such a thing as rushing too much on this bit. No, it's so damn hard to get the height you need for this for that for that first bit. No, no, no. Why did I not get a jump there? Yeah, you know why. I know why. Screw that. Uh, Thing in this that happens in this game. No. Seriously, the getting enough height and distance on this first jump is such a pain. No, nowhere near. I wasn't even gonna try that. I was a hundred percent confident that wouldn't have, wouldn't have got anywhere near. What the hell? I'd like to. Rem I, I honestly can't remember how I died um, when I got, you know, got the furthest through and I got up to the platform. I can't remember why. I mean, I was a speed. We obviously have played uh, a part of it. Flip! But I would love to know what I or remember what I died on you know, exactly how I died so that I hopefully don't do that again. But no, can't remember. I'm sure I'll die that way again and uh, and that'll have to serve as a reminder. Come on, flipping final stage. <sighs> Although I guess I have no real complaint about, you know, the final stage of the game being Difficult! Was I even quick enough there? I no, I have no idea. I'm really hoping, actually, looking at that bit, um, or looking at the bit where I just died, that there's nothing stupid from a pixel aligning point of view where I can just drop off that ledge and not get hit sometimes, but other times I will, because if that, if that happens, or if that's in place, then I'm really flipping annoyed. Unless, of course, that you automatically are able to just drop off the platform. But I almost don't want to risk it. Hence why I think I've um, jumped up uh, into, the, into the spike on the ceiling a couple of times now. Flip in hell, and you've got to be so damn quick with that, with that uh, once you've got the mystery block that... Uh, it, uh, it, yeah. Well, that's just it. Got, there is no other. There is no end to that sentence. You've just got to be so damn quick that you're liable to make, you know, mistakes elsewhere. Oh come on! If I could do that first jump, or yeah, with a modicum of success. What did I even hit? 
even know what I hit there. Honestly, couldn't tell you if it was the, the giant spike under the mystery block or the ones to the left of it. Really? Are you absolutely kidding? Yeah, given that this is the last stage that should cause me any real problems, there's no way in hell I'm cutting anything here. For God's sake! should never die that way. I'm probably going to piss up after that as well. In, uh, you know, the bit of the top left. Look, there's a, look, look at that, look at that between jump. Right, right next to the teleporter. That just looks lovely, doesn't it, after going through the rest of this. first jump. All that well. Again, if I could do the first jump, I'd probably say it I don't know how many times, I don't really care at this point in time now. But yeah, if I could do this first jump well, I you know may well be done with it by now, but it's like a one in one in five at best. So what did I again what did I die on? What is the hitbox on the flipping mini spikes? Did that re was it really the flipping mini spike there that killed me? Son of a bitch! Don't know why that's getting me. It's probably one of those flipping stupid corner things as again from earlier on in this stage. It just just as wonky as hell and flipping irritating to boot. Oh my god! Wow. So, I don't get them. I just I just don't get the hitboxes on mini spikes. No matter what game it is, I I, I I don't get the hitboxes on mini spikes. I just don't. <sighs> no, by the look of it, you can't just walk off there. So that's terrific. Which means you are going to have to um, <sighs> jump and double jump. Which in turn means you're going to have to be need to be bloody close to the platform, or not let it get too high. And seriously, look at the look at the rest. Look at the rest of the um. There's the stage at the top left as well. Two, unless unless they go away by do it by hitting something. No, they don't. You've got to pull off two in between jumps. One of them, the first one, is a really long one, by the way. What a really, really nasty way to end the stage. Or end the floor, or whatever. Oh. Thank you. Flipping egg, I, I'm getting f so fed up with this now. This flipping first jump, it's absolutely f kicking my ass. I'm probably making a, a mistake by uh, that. Did not hit me. That categorically did not hit me. Rub up against that wall in order to make the jump because there's a two sets of mini spikes there that are gonna. Pfft. 
pl oh, I was about to say, please, if you, if you don't hate me, please make me clear that. Right. Final area, let's do this. Let's end this now. I don't know how, uh, yeah, actually how hard this, uh, from memory, this, uh, this last screen was, but, uh, yeah, we're ending it here and now. On reflection, I seem to remember it being quite annoying. So, but I don't care. However long this takes is how long it takes. There'll be an extra long last video of the Let's Play. Although, sugar, I am relieved to see, uh, yeah, midway save points. Yes. Really? Seems kind of uh, unnecessary annoying. <sighs> okay, so I might as well, I suppose, give final thoughts on the game while I'm uh, struggling on what will be the final floor. Um, for the most part, um, and you know, a really a clever game, and uh, for the most part, fun. I've been really kind of ranting and raving the last um, however many videos, three, four, but yeah, I really do feel that stage nine hard mode is just um, way too uh, difficult compared to the rest of the game. And it's obviously not too difficult uh, to be able to clear it because I've obviously managed it, and I've managed, still managed to do it without. Uh, cutting anything out, which is uh, almost a flipping miracle, but it's yeah, it's just so much more difficult than the rest than the rest of the, the rest of the game. And um, yes, yeah, I think somewhat unnecessarily so. It almost takes some of the enjoyment out of having got the rest of you know the rest of the way here. But um, as for the uh, the gimmicks and everything, I I like the uh, the um, the water levels. I somewhat like the uh, the triple jump uh, and the star mechanic. I really like the uh, gravity mechanic. Um, I'm not such a fan of um, yeah, the stage nine mechanic and the um, the um, the wall um, banging one. It is unique and everything, and I will say, you know, say I certainly give it um, points for that. But it is uh, really uh, awkward to to get a, to you know, to get a handle on. Um, do I really need to go over to... Oh, there's a switch over there. I'm assuming I'm going to have to go over here then. Wow, that was that was awesomely done. Yeah, it gets rid of that spike there. Okay, so I reckon I've got one chance at this. Which is... Uh, uh, okay. Kind of annoying. Ugh. One last jump. Yes, we're done. Okay, so I probably didn't give, give, give myself get a chance to seriously a D on that. You're joking, right? Um, yeah, I probably didn't give myself an awful lot of time to, um, you know, all the final thoughts on the game. So I might as well kind of do it now before the, the final ending. Uh, yeah, like I said, um, for the most part, really fun. I do find the, you know, the the combination of the needle physics and other sort of the needle stuff and the, and the gimmicks kind of adds adds to a standard needle game. So I do quite like that and. Um, there are some really nice stages in there. I say I love the gravity mechanic. I do like most of the trials. That's a nice one. The music and the soundtrack of the game is flipping phenomenal. Uh, I love you know just listening to the, you know listening to the music as I'm kind of going through. Um, the only part in time where I find I really get pissed off, and I'm sure you've picked up on it, is stage nine hard mode. I just think that's just uh, annoyingly difficult. And um, yeah, it's a bit of a shame that the kind of the let's play comes to an end on a bit of a me getting pissed off and ranting a little bit. But um, not so much to the point where I'm just, you know, completely losing my temper and ranting and raving and cursing and cussing and swearing and blah, 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 blah but still. Uh, yeah, overall, a really kind of nice, a really kind of nice game for a needle game with all the kind of gimmicks mechanics. Just, uh, yeah, a little bit of a shame that uh, Stage 9 hard mode was uh, such a bitch. Um, and uh, this time we're going, now going to see the true ending. Uh, and I'm going to shut up for the final version of the credits. I hope you get to hear it um, if YouTube doesn't hit me with a copyright. If it does, then I'll just mute it. But um, yeah, I hope you get a chance to at least hear it. 
Uh, oh, but I will have something to say on the, on next project coming up. Yeah, when we get back to the title screen. So yeah, let's move off to the left uh, and down the hole. I don't believe there's anything over to the left now. Well, there may well be, but uh, nothing. That's not where we want to go. That would be the ending for the, uh, to up there for the confused. Uh, no, sorry, the bad ending. Um, and uh, yeah, down here would have been uh, more for the bad ending. But uh, yeah, now we can go down here for the good ending. And uh, it's in. It's through that door. I'll just make my way over a bit to the left so you can see. So yeah, that would have been the uh, the uh, the bad ending. And of course, we couldn't get through this door because we would have been up the other the upside upside down, and we wouldn't have been able to uh, you know, get obviously reach this high. So yeah, I will now shut up for the true ending, and hopefully you get to hear it. The credits. Yay, I got the true ending, and uh, with that I can now play uh, any of the modes uh, I want to. Uh, so uh, yeah, I can play, I uh, don't know how I get to a hard mode, is it just, it might be a shift on, if I press shift on normal mode, yeah, I can switch between normal and hard mode. Um, but we're not, yeah, there, there's, there, you can go back to any stage now you want, so that's a kind of a nice little thing uh, there. I'm going to press escape and go back to the... Uh, the main world, you, or the main hub, and you can see 8,936 deaths, which is a flipping lot, and uh, just under 12 and a half hours played total. Um, I got the true ending, so there we are, the mastermind, and uh, yeah. Basically all these other achievements, the expert ones, I reckon I might be able to do with enough practice, maybe get an expert one for stage one, but anything beyond that, just, you know, completely um, out of the question. So, uh, yeah, with that, that is, um, yeah, that brings, um, stop scrolling around. Um, let me go back to the main menu. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> that brings to an end uh, Not Another Needle game. So, very briefly, um, next project, as I kind of said in one of my update videos, will be uh, Mega Man 6 Let's Play Perfect Runs. Um, I'm going to put a little speech at the beginning of the first uh, video for that as well about YouTube copyright and uh, what it's been doing to my videos because uh, I reckon that I'm probably going to go back to some of my old Mega Man Let's Play Perfect Run videos and mute some of the some of the parts of the videos where it blocks it's you know it's obviously copyrighted it and blocking it in certain countries. I don't know which countries. It doesn't seem to block it in mine, you know, England, the UK, whatever, because I you know logged out or of for my profile and I still could access it. But I imagine possibly America, some of the Asian countries, it might well be blocked. So. Um, it's the bits where I'm not talking or giving commentary anyway, so just the stage music, and uh, yeah, apparently, obviously, that's enough to get a YouTube copyright for the Mega Man background stage music. So yeah, I reckon I will probably go back in and mute those parts of the videos. It's bloody annoying, but I can't be bothered with all the um, submitting claims and everything like that. It's happening on quite a few videos, so yeah, I'll probably be doing that. Uh, and obviously, if again it happens Mega Man 6 onwards, I'll st I'll continue to do it. But uh, yeah, I will repeat that speech at the beginning on Mega Man 6 Let's Play Perfect Runs to state all that. And yeah, if you do happen to go back and watch any, or if indeed it happens in the future, any Mega Man Let's Play Perfect Run videos and it seems oddly quiet, it's because I've had to mute it to avoid getting stuck with a copyright uh, violation and get and having my video blocked. So that is pretty much all I wanted to say. Not another needle game. It's taken my taken a little bit of a toll on me, but it's done. And yeah, next up will be Mega Man 6. So stay tuned for that. Hope you join me for next time for that. But until then, 
Cheerio. Oh my god, I completely forgot to say anything about the ending. <laughs> oh, jeez. So yeah, it was all a simulation. By, by the looks of it, Geezer. So, pfft, to you too. Yeah, kind of a, hilar a hilarious, humorous way of ending it, but I've got to confess, having gone through all that, it would be nice not to have a, a middle finger up to the player at the end, but what are you going to do? Pfft, indeed.